Who amongst you, who amongst any of you, remembers Angela Anaconda? Hi everyone, it's me, Angela Anaconda. So, I get the impression this was... <laughs> Excellent. I get the impression that this was a bit of a thing in America, but not as much of a thing as it was outside of America, because this was a Canadian show. In Australia, we got a lot of Canadian television. If people are always asking me like, oh, did you, what, did you grow up with Spongebob? And I'm like, nope. I did grow up with this though. <laughs> I never watched but aware, yeah. I think nowadays people are kind of coming back to it and being like, what the hell was this? It's so WTF. Yeah, it looks Canadian. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I actually remember thinking this was a good show. And today, I look at it and I'm like, yeah, I can see why people would think this is pretty weird. <laughs> the reason why it looks like this is because they've employed a kind of interesting production style. These are real people's faces. They've gotten like photos of actual models, like actual human beings. But yeah, the most interesting part of all probably was the fact that they uh, did this crossover with the Digimon movie. <laughs> If you were unfortunate enough to watch the Digimon movie <laughs> growing up, the Digimon movie is an entirely American fabrication where they took three Japanese movies and just kind of shoved them together. So it's kind of an odd beast in and of itself, but we won't get into that. What we will get into is the fact that before the movie, it aired with this Angela Anaconda short. This is it, DigiPal. In a few seconds, the doors will open for the best movie of all time. Digimon movie. Yes, it's actually a short about the Digimon movie. Now I should mention, apparently this was a real episode of the show, but it wasn't originally about Digimon. They like redid the voice acting and reworked a lot of the visuals to make it about the Digimon movie. <laughs> what? Cool. Nice. <laughs> it really is interesting how much like Digimon stuff they had to throw into this episode. I think the most baffling part of this is that someone thought the Digimon movie and Angela Anaconda must have a lot of audience overlap because this is clearly a calculated decision. And I'm not sure how like practical that was. <laughs> Did the Angela Anaconda team be like, hey, cool. We like Digimon. Can we, like, work this in? Angela Anaconda, Digivolve to Angelamon. Okay, so I assume at this point it's all original. They haven't just, like, tweaked some posters and redone some voice acting. Because I, I, I haven't seen the original episode, but I have a hard time imagining that this just happened <laughs> in the original episode. I will watch the making of, just because I think it's funny. Took pictures from all... So this is like a kid, I guess. Like a normal looking kid, and then they've just like taken pieces of- oh, Jesus fucking Christ, holy shit! what in God's green flat earth? Now this is more like- Ugh! <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Disembodied mouth. About mathematics. Now the people who make Angela- <laughs> <laughs> I hate to be mean. I hate to be mean, but... Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I've come here ready to make a show all about me. Angela Anaconda. Right, okay. <laughs> I assume that's the most interesting bit, but holy shit. Anyway, now that for better or worse, you know a bit a little bit more about Angela Anaconda. <laughs> 